Today's Camco Tech Tip involves using custom macros to make your programming go faster. Once you get to the Camco website, which is camco-ne.com, click on Support and Training. Scroll down until you find Gibscam Macros. Take me to the macro library. You can then download these macros, put them anywhere on your machine, but put them in a convenient place where you can find them. Then, what we have here is an example of how to install and use one of the custom macros that was built for you. Here we have a three-axis vertical mill with a part that's four by four square and one inch thick. In machine simulation, the part looks very lonely sitting on the table by itself. We would like to have a vise on there to accurately represent our machining situation. Let's go directly to the macros menu and configure. As you can see, I have no macros configured here. I'm going to click in the first empty spot and go browse for the macros that we were looking for, the ones you downloaded, and click on the file marked 6 inch vice.mac. Click Open, Update, and OK. You have just installed a macro into Gibbscam and it is ready to use immediately. We click on Macros and there is 6 inch vice. As soon as we click on 6 inch vice, we either enter the parallel height or the grip distance. I'm going to enter a grip distance of 0 0.250 and press OK. The macro will automatically create the vise and place the vise jaws properly on the part and set the part at the proper depth that you specified. And now when we go to Machine Sim, when we press Rewind, you can see no longer do we have a lonely part sitting on the table, but we now have a vise. You may have multiple vices. We hope you enjoyed this Gibbs Cam Tech Tip.